Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly winter dinners. If you are new here, I share three new recipes every single Friday. So if that sounds like something that you would like, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. I am not feeling my best today. I'm not really sure why, but I don't have a whole lot of energy. So I wanted something very easy and Steven helped me pick this out. Tonight we are having Mexican street corn, black bean chicken. The name sounds difficult, but it couldn't be easier. I've got three really thinly sliced chicken breasts here. I'm just going to sprinkle these with some taco seasoning. The recipe just says to use salt and chili powder. Both of those things are in this taco seasoning. I will link or I will put the taco seasoning recipe below. Next, I'm just gonna add about eight ounces of corn on top. I'm using frozen corn that's been sitting out and has come to room temperature but you could definitely just use a can of corn and just drain it. Now I've got a can of black beans that I drained and rinsed. I'm gonna add that on top as well. Now I'm just gonna take the remaining chili powder mixture or the taco seasoning and just put this on top. And lastly, I'm gonna be adding feta cheese. If you can find the cotilla cheese, use that, but my grocery store did not have that. So it said you could use feta instead. You're gonna use four ounces. It doesn't get much easier than that. I'm gonna put this in the oven at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes just until the chicken is done. And when it's done completely, we will slice up some green onion and put that on top. As a side tonight, I'm gonna to make the cilantro lime rice. It is a knockoff of or a copycat of the chipotle recipe. I'm gonna link that video below if you've missed that. It's one of our favorites. really colorful chicken here. Mmm, <laughs> it's got that Tex-Mex flavor. So very much a uh, little bit of spice from the chili um, mixture there. Got the cumin and all that. You can taste that. Uh, goes well with the, the beans. And of course this uh, rice. cilantro lime rice is it's your favorite. One of my favorites, if not my favorite. So, yeah, all of this goes really well together, for sure. He's not a fan of the cilantro lime nope. rice, but he <laughs> likes the other. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would say this one is a hit, very, very easy. So, it is our second meal of the week, and I could not be more excited about this because many of you have actually said in the past, Mandy, you know what? Auntie Nono's should sponsor you because you talk about it all the time. Well, guess what? They sponsored me. <laughs> They are the official sponsor of this video and I'm really excited because not only are we gonna be talking about my favorite seasoning in the whole wide world, but they have two new seasonings and we're gonna use them all in the same meal tonight. All three of them, let's get excited. So how are we using three different seasonings in the same meal, you ask? I'm so glad you did, I'm gonna tell you. We're gonna use the seafood seasoning on our salmon tonight, we're making salmon. We're going to be using the firecracker sea salt seasoning on our veggies tonight. And I'm gonna be making some mashed potatoes on the side and I'm gonna add my favorite everything seasoning. I'll tell you more about each seasoning as we're using them, but you can buy all three of them on their website together in a savory sampler set 
and I'll tell you more about that too and I do have a discount code for you. Today in our mashed potatoes I'm adding the everything seasoning. This is the one you've seen me talk about time and time again because we have really fallen in love with it. It's a one and done custom blend of savory spices that brings out the zest in whatever you put it on. It has no MSG, it is sugar free, it's gluten free, it's kosher, vegetarian and vegan friendly, and it's made in America. Okay, so now we're getting started on our veggies. This just came out of this bag here. It's already pre-washed. I'm just coating them in olive oil. And we are gonna use our firecracker sea salt to season them. We're using the firecracker sea salt. It has a mix of chipotle, jalapeno, and scorpion chilies. So it's not just your typical flavor booster. It goes beyond basic and it delivers salt and spice in a pinch. You can toss it onto roasted veggies like we're doing tonight or you could sprinkle it over an egg on toast or even shake it on a slice of pizza. Okay, I have preheated my oven to 375. We're gonna get started on fixing the salmon to go in. I'm gonna coat this with some olive oil spray. On top of our salmon, we're gonna add anti-no-no seafood seasoning. And I'm really excited about this one because not only does it have your typical lemon, but it has the paprika, which means it's great for blackening. It also has mustard, and it's a balanced blend that's going to bring a bright and savory kick to your fish, your shrimp, or any dish. I'm just gonna add some lemon slices on top. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my air fryer for five minutes. Our veggies are going, they have 10 minutes. Our mashed potatoes are going, they have nine minutes. Now, let's get our salmon going in the oven. This is going in at 375. We're gonna check it at around 10 minutes since these are smaller salmon fillets, but it could take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. To go on top of our salmon, we're gonna melt some butter and add a little bit of the seafood seasoning to that butter and pour it over. This is really good. We haven't had salmon in a while. So it's been I'm a long time. Really excited about having some seafood tonight. So let's, uh, ooh, really flaky. Wow. It's exactly how we want it to be. Yes. Let's try it. Oh, wow. Yes. It's amazing. Wow, that seasoning is really, really, really good. Man, that lemony flavor in there. That's awesome. Oh wow! So the, the 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 seasoning that you put on top, yeah, that's amazing. That's really really good. Just a little bit of uh, it, I love the lemony flavor with the spices. Yeah, in there, it's not spicy. Right. Um, okay, so try our veggies. You may need to. I didn't go heavy handed with this, with the firecracker sea salt. So you may want to add a little more of that to your veggies. All right, let's try them first. Oh man, I think this is like my absolute favorite way that you've prepared veggies Air up to this point. Yep. Oh, woo, here comes the spice. <laughs> oh, oh wow, that's really good. It's not over the top. I'm kind of glad you didn't Add more. put more in there okay. because it's just enough. 
Yeah. It's really good. Mm. Uh, yeah. You didn't add any salt to this, right? Just no, the just, just this. that. Okay, because that, that is, has salt yeah, in it. Yeah, it is salt, yeah. Oh, wow, that's really good. Whenever you do these veggies again. Use that seasoning. Mm -hmm. And the air fryer. Mm -hmm. Oh, that you is. weren't here the other night when we did air fryer veggies, so yeah. Mm. This, this is, is awesome. his first time having them. All right, and then get a little bit of our everything seasoning mashed potatoes. We've done this a million times, oh, yeah. so this is nothing new, but we love that everything seasoning. Has a little bit of garlic in there, salt and pepper, onion. It's just the best. <laughs> Those mashed potatoes are exceptional. They always are. Love the Antinos. garlicky flavor of mm. that Auntie Nono's. So, mm. this is a full on Auntie Nono's meal. I know. Auntie Nono's seafood, firecracker sea salt, and everything seasoning. What you think? It's delicious. I'm so excited. Okay, I love y'all, but it's time for me to eat. Mm -hmm. Hello. This is phenomenal. Steven said this would be a great meal to impress with. Mm, for sure. So if you were gonna be entertaining and you really want to impress someone, this is it. Also, Auntie Nono's really took the effort out of it for us because you don't have to think about all the different spices that you wanna put on top. All of the blends are pre-made and they're perfect. I mean, there's not one thing I would change about any of these blends. They're so good. Okay, y'all, it is our third meal of the week. And if you've been here for any length of time, you know it's Subby Supper Night. If you are new here, you may not know what Subby Supper stands for. It stands for Subscriber Supper. It just means one of our subscribers has emailed us a recipe that their family loves. They share that recipe with us. We try it here in our kitchen and we share it with you if we do in fact love it as well. And this week our Subby Supper is from Belinda and it is Korean adobo chicken. Chicken adobo. Belinda is from Oklahoma. She has two grown children, Alex and Alicia, and then she has her first grandbaby, Barrett. He is 18 months old. Belinda is half Filipino. My aunt is Filipino. And she said that her mom made an amazing chicken adobo. Now, her mom passed when she was just a teenager, so she didn't have her recipe. She's always tried to recreate it. She said her brothers and sisters have tried to recreate it, and nothing has been as good as mom's, of course, because you know. But she did find this recipe on Food Network and she said it's close, but it's not better. But she likes it and she thought she would share it with us. It sounded really good, really simple. It's in the Instant Pot. It's Instant Pot chicken adobo. Let's do it. We don't have to do a whole lot of chopping. I am going to smash about five cloves of garlic. We don't have to chop them up, just smash them. We're going to slice this entire onion and then we'll chop up some of these for the topping at the end. Okay, to get started, we're gonna turn our Instant Pot onto saute. So we're gonna just let it get hot. When it comes across here that it's hot, we will get started. Okay, so this is coming up to temperature. We're gonna add in a couple of tablespoons of vegetable oil and let that heat through. Okay, tonight I am using four chicken thighs, bone in, skin on. We're gonna put them in two at a time. And what we're gonna do is just brown them on both sides and then we'll, after the first two, we'll remove those and put them in the second two. Now that they have all browned, we're gonna add in the first two and we're gonna turn the Instant Pot off and add in the rest of our ingredients. All right, he's gonna be our chef, y'all. You ready for this? Yeah, just a touch of that and a touch of this. Uh-huh. A third a cup of soy sauce. So the recipe calls for a fourth a cup of sugar. I was reading the reviews and a lot of people said they halved that amount. So we've got about an eighth a cup of sugar. This is a fourth a cup of white distilled vinegar. We're gonna add in our garlic. Oh boy, look at that. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna add in our onion. The recipe calls for two bay leaves, but our bay leaves are pretty small, so we're gonna go with three. Wimpy bay leaves. <laughs> okay, and then we need some black pepper, about a half a teaspoon. 
No measuring involved here. No. So let's put the lid on. What are we going to do with that? That's for the topping at the end. Oh. Okay. Put the lid on. There we go. Hit pressure cook and go to eight minutes. So. Uh, yep. All right. All right. That's it. We done? Yep. Let's let it do its thing. Okay, our eight minutes is up. The timer just went off. So we're gonna do a quick release my least favorite thing to do in the whole wide world. Whoa! I cannot stand So now we're gonna hit cancel and then turn it back to saute. We're gonna let this saute and let the sauce thicken for about 20 minutes. It's gonna darken up and it's gonna thicken and it's gonna be perfect to go over rice. Okay, so we walked away and let this go for 20 minutes. It was a tad too long. So keep an eye on the sauce. Once it thickens and gets really dark, then come in here and go ahead and turn it off. It was no, nowhere near 20 minutes is what we needed. It was probably like 12 to 15 minutes. So we let it go a little bit too long. Don't make that mistake. It's still gonna be yummy. It smells really good. First, we try to get the meat off here and see what that's like. Oh yeah, that's... I mean, it's falling right that's off. That's coming right off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's going to be good. We're pretty disappointed that we let the sauce go so long, well, but that's on us. I mean, you can see that there's still some sauce on here. Yeah, there is. You see that? Yeah. It's pretty thick right there. Mmm. Wow, man, this is really, really good. Even though we messed uh, up the sauce. It's tremendous. The chicken is cooked absolutely perfect and it is permeated Yeah. with all of that sauce and everything. Good. If we had more sauce, this would be- Over the top, yeah. This would be incredible. Yeah. I mean, if we had more to pour on there to soak into the rice right. and have a little more coating on the chicken, I mean, this would be amazing, outstanding, over the top, but it's already amazing. I mean, this is, even with the the botched sauce, yeah. it worked out. Well, I'm excited. I mean, I'm gonna definitely eat every bite of this and oh, yeah. go back for seconds if they were seconds. It smells <laughs> so good in here. Sauce and yeah. where the, the chicken is, you know, caramelized and everything, and then the sauce sort of cakes up on there. Right. We're talking about rich. Mm. Oh man, it's like the the sweet, you know, yeah. charred yeah. flavor, and then the the soy sauce. The you know, it's that it's that dark, sweet, and savory sauce that um, is just out of this world. Okay, that's that's great. I'm over here with my mouth like just watering, so <laughs> I'm gonna dig in. So this could have easily been a fail if that sauce had not permeated in here and you didn't already get all the flavors. We are gonna be making this again very soon and we will pay attention. We won't walk out of the kitchen with that sauce going because I hate that we missed out on that, but just learn from our mistakes. Don't let it saute for that full 20 minutes if it doesn't need it. But the flavors, they're phenomenal. Mm -hmm. He hasn't stopped. <laughs> You gotta make this. Yeah, you do have to make this. Thank you so much, Belinda, for sharing this with us. I know it's not your mother's recipe and it's not as good as your mom's, but this is really great and we're so glad that you shared it with us. Mm -hmm. A big thank you again to Auntie Nono's for sponsoring today's video. We have fallen in love with all three of their blends. Just a quick reminder, there's no MSG. Each blend is also gluten-free, kosher, vegetarian, and vegan-friendly, and all of them are made in America. If you want to try one of them, 
two of them or all three, just be sure to check my description box below. I've got a link there for you. And if you use the code MANDY10, you're going to save 10% on your purchase. Auntie Nonos and I have collaborated together on Instagram to host a giveaway. So be sure to go follow me over on Instagram, find this post right here and follow the rules to enter. We really enjoyed our dinners this week. They were super easy, but so incredibly tasty. If you aren't already a member of my YouTube family, I would love to have you. Just hit that red subscribe button before you go. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video, and I will see y'all next week. Bye. I love it. My eyes are watering. Oh. He, he made me cry. <laughs> he did. Y'all get him. Get him. You mean Mr. Onion Head? Mr. Onion Head made me cry. Yeah, sure. That's it. <laughs> so tell me what you got going on here. Don't start this again. You can't just like film me. Oh, well, I can just film you. No, you can't. I can. You can't. Just talk to me like you would just a normal person. I, I know. I don't want to. Okay. Because you aren't a no normal person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you knew it was coming. You left it wide open for me. Yeah. Okay, I gotta put this ring back in here. For one ring. Wait down. What you want, Grace? You want some cheese? Grace, you want some cheese?